Hello everyone, welcome to Kryptonize, where we frequently analyze alt altcoins, DeFi, NFTs, anything that's of interest to the community. Uh, and today is no exception. We're going to talk about a project that's launching called Band NFTs. And joining me is one of our usual suspects, Barnaby Anderson. And uh, I don't think, Barnaby, we should go through a long intro of who you are but maybe just some background on yourself and what bend nft is for sure great to be here again mark it's always fun to be on your show and you and i go back some years and i think actually our connections originated from um davos and uh, i was over there speaking about uh, putting actually on a crypto conference back in 2018 so you know you and i were like ogs in the space uh, i've been in uh, essentially, my whole career has been about e-commerce since the early mid '90s. That's when I just have been obsessed about everything tech and money and uh, selling online. And obviously, that led me into cryptocurrencies. Started looking at Bitcoin in 2011. Didn't buy it, um, but basically, I was just fascinated by the technology. Eventually, I just pivoted everything I was doing from 2016 uh, into crypto, and then became obsessed with DeFi and had to start building up my own platforms and then eventually NFTs. And that is what led me to being uh, the co-founder of Band Royalty, which is uh, which is basically the umbrella of Band NFTs. So myself and Noble Dracon, we've been working together for a few years now on different NFT projects that we've been launching. And he comes from a hedge fund background and a lot of finance background. And he's also been investing in music. So he's been investing in music royalties for the last couple of decades. This is Noble. I didn't know anything about this, but because of our you know, good working relationship and other NFT launches, he had this idea, which was, well, what if we could democratize the whole music royalty space and enable anybody who wanted to start earning from songs playing the ability to do so on the blockchain? Sounds like a pretty amazing deal. And so uh, for people to participate. And so basically that's what we built out. We built up band royalty. Uh, sold about a million dollars worth of those NFTs last year. And that just went, it went really well from there. So we then started developing our own music NFT exchange, which is called Band NFTs, which is going to be for the musicians to launch their NFTs. What we did last year, just wrapping that up, we launched an NFT project that was DeFi, where you take NFTs, you stake them to earn a passive income on music royalties. That was what we did. And actually, we're uh, upgrading all of that again right now. It's been 12 months. We launched to the day 12 months ago. We've had 12 months of earnings on those music royalty catalogs. And so that's us buying existing musicians' royalties. What about other musicians who want to launch their music NFTs? That's what's coming out tomorrow. And we have a groundbreaking innovation. Nobody else has done this. We have a multi-track music NFT. So how about that? So that's actually something that's gonna blow people's minds, so we think. So over to you, what do you think of all that? Uh, well, I think it's very unique. Definitely the future, uh, whether you guys have figured it out or not remains to be seen. You know, I'm gonna approach this with skepticism uh, first and foremost, and then let's see what happens. But I'm very curious as to, you said NFTs that play music that earn royalties. So do I just buy this NFT and I automatically get the music on my iPhone? Aha. Well, no, it doesn't work quite like that. So basically, I know I said a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to break it down. We launched our own NFT series that has nothing to do with a musician per se. We just invented it and it connects through a DeFi um, programming into earning from music royalties. So we bought a music royalty catalog that produces passive income that we then pay out through a token that you earn from staking that NFT. That's music catalog. We did that. That's been working. People been people are thrilled about this earning capability. Okay, that's been successful. Now we're launching that musicians can launch their own NFTs. So you as a musician, you want to make your own NFT. You want to push that to your fan base, and it could have its own functionality. Maybe they connect up to ticket sales for your concerts. Maybe you get merch. Maybe you get a um, a backstage pass. Maybe you know they get to ask you private questions in a private Zoom. You could add all these functions. You being a musician to launch your NFTs or just the pure collectability. So uh, we've got Andy Case launching tomorrow. She's got 1.5 million fans, and she's only launching 777. Uh, NFTs at about $100 each, 0 0.03 ETH. So she's got this big fan base. So what is cool is that people in crypto often like to buy what is first. What were the first NFTs that were ever launched? CryptoPunks, they're like a million dollars each now. They were given away for free. 
So because they are the first, that's the only reason they trade for a million dollars. Well, tomorrow we launch the first ever multi-track music NFT. So what does that mean? That means that you've got multiple music files, multiple MP3s. It looks like Spotify. Basically, uh, I can pop it up and show you. It's, it's very, very cool. So this is the bandnfts.com. This is our featured artist, our first artist up there, Andy Case. Her drop is April 21st. And here are the next ones coming out. Every week we're launching another music NFT. So what does that mean? Well, when we click on it, you can see that there are these two tracks. Now, does this interface look pretty familiar to you? It should yeah. look like Spotify, yeah? How do you get it to your phone though? This is also mobile, this is also works on mobile. So, but I'm gonna show you, I click on this and get ready for a, a track to start playing. Please don't call me crazy. That's the first one. What about the second one? I think I'm so, that is how uh, it's a multi-track. And yes, they are actually, it's a single. So one is a radio edit, the other is the original. Now, the point is that this does, it's a mobile responsive site. So it's a whole marketplace. We are innovating around what an NFT even means. We are creating the first ever true music NFT. So up until now, they've just been a single file where if you wanted to put a whole album, you'd have to listen to them all on one file. What if you want to jump around between the songs? Band NFTs has got the tech for this. We're the only, but we've had to break through all this amazing tech to create this. And, and so we're doing, and we're going to be rolling out more and more artists. And we have a whole token economy around this where the fans can start earning as well. So every time these are traded, you as a fan can start earning money through a whole DeFi innovation on this music NFT platform. So let yeah. me stop you right there. So an artist signs up for Band NFT, they put their tracks up there. Uh, how is the determination of royalties determined? Is it through the trading and buying of NFTs? How, how does no, that work? No, so that's, I just wanted to clarify. So there are no royalties connected to these NFTs. There's none. So what I talked to you about before was a catalog that we are buying. I, I, I know, see, here's the thing. Guess what? The music industry is a bit confusing. We've got two halves to this, to the band business. First half, we go and buy music royalties and then people can earn from those every time those tracks play. That's one thing. Second, artists can choose to launch their own NFT just as a digital collectible. It's just a collectible. It's like a signed autograph. Now, if the artist so chooses that they want to include in that royalties, we'll be opening that up as well. That'll be a whole other kind of product. These ones here are just purely collectible items. They uh, they they give you they have the cachet of that there's only that many. It's like a it's no different from a signed album. If you've got a signed album, wow, there's only like one thousand of those or whatever. That's what these are. And each of these are unique and they have multi tracks. How how has it become a unique NFT? Well, there's, in this example, there's only going to be seven hundred and seventy seven. So okay. and and some of the others will have a few more, like this one, uh, three thousand. So that's that's the limit. So each of these artists is issuing that limited supply. And that's all that's going to be available ever from them for that one track. And some of them will put out an album. These are singles that they're launching, but some of them are going to be putting out albums. And uh, each time they do that, that'll be the only issuance of that particular track as an NFT. Got it. Okay. So these are unique. They're like limited edition, basically. And um, the, the artist's hope is that they become more valuable over time. Do they participate? Does the artist participate in any sort of upside or is it just, I sold all the NFTs, I'm done? Uh, well, the, basically each one actually provides further additional airdrops. We've built it so that when you buy one of these NFTs, that artist then provides further NFTs from that particular one. It's an innovation around you buy one and now you're going to get like a, Photographs from the studio room, signed autographs, uh, basically a series of, and even other other tracks that are going to come off that one purchase. All of those being collectible items. And so this is an innovation. We've not seen anybody else in the marketplace create a true music NFT marketplace that behaves like Spotify or like any of those, except now we're creating a, a differentiator between just the playing of music, which has now become free. You know, you can go and listen to any track you want on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, etc. So suddenly for the first time in the, in the last 10 years, 
uh, the economics of musicians earning money from the playing of music has disappeared. That's why they're earning so little. Like, I don't know if you realize this, but uh, to, to make the minimum wage, you have to have tens of millions of plays. So only the biggest artists get that. So the, like you can, like um, uh, some of them actually who get like 40 million plays, they earn $2,000. So imagine that, that would have been a platinum selling album last, last century. And now wow. you can get 40 million plays and get $2,000. So the so whole where, economic... where are they outside of band NFTs? Where are they getting their income? Then is it from going on tour? Yeah, that's it. So the musicians, are, all, all their income is basically dried up. They're only getting it from going on tour, and most people don't even realize this. They think that they're making bank, and not at all. And, and so the uh, artists throughout the whole of the last hundred years, they've only been getting about twelve percent of all the earnings from music, and out of that, they have to pay for the whole music production, the video. Uh, all the creation of all uh, all the um, merchandise, uh, recording time. So basically, artists have been getting like w way less than ten percent, and the studio, the the labels, etc., and the whole all the execs, they're making all of the money. And even all of that has changed with uh, with the way Spotify and Apple Music, etc. So the whole thing is broken, and musicians are not making the money at all that they used to. Certainly not what they deserve. And so now they're waking up and going, oh, for the first time in a decade. I can release a tradable product that is an in international uh, instrument of exchange as a collectible and make nearly all of the money on it. Like they're, they're going to make nearly all the money on these. So we're flipping the whole game back to the artist. And so we think that that's going to catch on fire. And the genius idea of this platform actually is that um, we don't have to go and get all the clients. Each of these musicians they have the fan base. So Andy Case is letting all of her million fans know they're going to come here. And so does the next one. So does the next one. We're talking to some huge artists right now in the fans in the tens upon tens of millions that are so excited to be launching their NFTs. We are doing this little beta test uh, right now. It's basically the, the, the prep. The launch starts tomorrow uh, with these artists just to, to show everybody how it works. Then we're going to have some of the biggest names coming on. And everybody who buys the band royalty fungible token, you'll get that token, you can stake it on this platform and uh, you'll start earning a, a passive income on all the trading happening. So remember that OpenSea is doing $200 million per day in JPEG trading. Don't you think that the whole music industry might be more of interest? These, those are just JPEGs with no, no backing, no utility, no functionality, nothing. And yet people are trading and buying them. What happens when music fans wake up to buying limited collectible items off their favorite artists? That's going to yeah, and, and their NFTs and digitally tradable, and there's a marketplace for it. It's, it's it's a great idea. I'm very interested to see how this plays out. I mean, uh, I would be shocked if uh, Spotify or an Apple doesn't you know try to steal this idea and, and run with it. So I, I hope you're well ahead of the curve, and it looks like you're ahead of the curve. Yeah, I don't think they, they will be able to. And, and also, we've made this fully interoperable with OpenSea. So the totally other game-changing element is not only can you buy these NFTs here and play them, they'll also be tradable and playable on OpenSea. So all of this is built upon open standards, and this whole multi-track element is, uh, is patentable. And we are taking this all the way because nobody's got anything like this. And yeah, you're saying um, that people are going to get in interested, but you know nobody's been able to crack this so far. And they haven't built out. We've been developing this for a year. And uh, if you go over to um, bandroyalty.com, you can get our, our white paper, find out all about the tokenomics and how our whole ecosystem that drives uh, with our three tokens, basically you get to earn across multiple aspects from playing music to trading music f to backing artists. It's going to be a it's going to be a, a, a wild ride. All right. <laughs> think, uh, well, is there anything else, Barnaby, that we need to know about? Uh... Uh, band NFTs, anything that um, you want to bring up before we wrap things up? Well, just head over there now. Grab the, um, I, I recommend go there tomorrow. Uh, register on the site uh, at bandroyalty.com, but also bandnfts.com so that you can be alerted to the next drops. Grab one of Andy Case's NFTs. We've also got a strictly limited supply of only 3,000 foundation governance NFTs that give you earnings across the whole music catalogs. Only 3,000 of those, and they're not cheap. They start at one ETH. So there are still some available. So I recommend go over there and uh, check out the, the economics, the whole tokenomic structure. And if it lights your fire, if you go, well, I like this, I can see that music. Because some people are saying that 
2022 is going to be the year of the music NFT. And uh, as artists are starting to wake up that they've been so deprived of income. So next step. Yeah. They know they've, they've been deprived of income. It's like, okay, is this the right vehicle? That's what they're going to evaluate it as. And you know how this works? It's all about trust and who you know. So once some of the artists start coming over, you know they're going to tell their buddies. Yeah, you just need like a Kanye to jump over. Then you're... Then Dude, we are, we are working with... I can't, I can't say. <laughs> I mean, it's very exciting. All right, good. With that, let's wrap things up. Barnaby, uh, really appreciate you being on the show. How do people reach out to you? Uh, they can... Uh, Barnaby at bandroyalty.com. There you go. Thank you.